Hello children. Today we are going to learn class 3rd science lesson number 10 life, sound and foods. Okay. Today we are going to learn the reading. Last class we learned reading on the page number 78 and 79. Now today we are going to learn the page number 80. So children let us open the page number 80. Okay, page number 80. Now, just keep the finger children. Yes, O, U, N, D sound. We hear many kinds of uh, sounds and noise all around us. Some of these are useful. For example, when the alarm clock rings, it tells us to wake up in the morning. A bell in the school tells us when a class is going to start or end. A car driver uses its horn to warn the people who are walking on the road. We love to hear the music. When we speak or laugh, we produce sound. Some sounds are a warning sounds. When a sick or injured person is a being carried to a hospital in an ambulance, it usually uses a siren. This is for the other cars to stop and allow this vehicle to go first. Types of sounds. Look at this picture. Amit and Ankita are not able to study for their examination. It is because of a procession passing outside their house. There are many people and loud music is being played by the band. Even some people are singing loudly. Children with them are bursting crackers. All the noise and commotion is disturbing Amit and Ankita. All these sounds are unpleasant which are catching problem causing problems to others hence such sounds are termed as a noise everyone gets disturbed by loud noise we should avoid such noise in big cities there is a lot of loud noise because of a vehicles, machines, loudspeakers and many more things. These things make us very tired. All this causes noise pollution. Scientists have found out that if we have to listen to loud noise for a long time, we can become a deaf. Everybody can help to reduce a noise by talking softly. Whenever you watch the TV or listen to music, keep the volume low. It should be just loud enough for your, you to hear. Sound is a major in a decibels. Foos, any kind of push or pull is called as a force. This is a pushing a table and pulling a rope. When we push or pull something, we apply a force and do work. Force can do many things. Force 
force can make an object to move force can make a moving object go faster or slower force can make a moving object stop force can make a moving object change its direction force can change the shape of a an object different kinds of a force muscular force when mona cycles her muscles push the pedal if she pushes harder the cycle goes faster if she pushes less the cycle slows down thus mona uses her muscular force to make the cycle start go faster or slower electrical force when we switch on a machine or a fan it starts receiving the supply of electricity which makes it moves this movement is because of a electrical force magnetic force if you bring a magnet near the pile or iron fillings you will notice that this slings to the magnet the magnet attract the iron fillings this is called as a magnetic force gravitational force when we drop a ball or any other things from the roof of a building it falls to the earth this is because of a gravity gravitational force is the force which with which the earth pulls or attracts all the objects towards it so children you have to practice this reading